Like the elixirs that Barb Nicole, Haley Bennett, so carefully tends to at her vineyard, Widow Clickwatt takes time to come into its fullest potential. Initially, it appears a sticky sweet tale of love, as manifested by its heroine's determination to carry on the vision of her late husband Francois, Tom Sturridge. But it takes on added layers as Barb Nicole reveals the breadth of her ambition, and as her rosy recollections of her marriage give way to thornier ones, ultimately yielding a drama that feels more substantive than its 89-minute runtime might suggest, if not quite rich enough to leave its own lasting legacy. Rooted in the history behind the still-renowned Champagne View of Clickwatt, Widow Clickwatt arrives amid a bumper crop of biopics about brands. Like most of the others, it's not exactly a commercial, but does have the PR-friendly side effect of bolstering the company's image. Through Aaron Dignam's script, based on the biography by Tyler J. Mazio, and brought to life with personal guidance from the brand's archivist, the familiar yellow label becomes a symbol of enduring love, of female empowerment, even of cutting-edge technological advancement. Albeit of the sort that looks far less radical 200 years later, were the relative contemporaneity of origin tales like Air or Blackberry or Flamin' Hot positioned them as reflections of our current corporate culture. Though, this movie's historical setting gives it the romanticism of a costume drama, it begins with Francois' funeral in 1805, where Barb Nicole stands nearly numb with grief. But she's snapped into action when her father-in-law, Philippe, Ben Miles, reveals plans to sell his late son's vineyards to Claude Mote. Unwilling to relinquish Francois' passion project, Barb Nicole pleads to be allowed to keep them for herself and to continue his efforts to perfect the art of winemaking. As Widow Clickwatt charts her progress, it braids in memories of her time with Francois.